All right, mobile gamers, so today I'm gonna to show you guys how to get Nether SX2 up and running on your Android without having to use Windows, Linux, or Mac. You can do everything just on your Android device. Now, why would you want this, you ask? Well, today we're gonna to find out. So the very first step to get Nether SX2 is to go to the Google Play Store. You're gonna type in the Google search bar uni patcher so u-n-i p-a-t-c-h-e-r this is a patcher tool to patch applications roms and this application which is going to be the sort of original apk file of aether sx2 which is a playstation 2 emulator now we're going to open it up we're going to click don't allow i don't like notifications being sent to my device and that's all up to a preference. Now we have the application itself. Let's click the home button. We're gonna go back, we go back, go back, go to Google Chrome. We're gonna type in Nether SX2, just like so in the Google search bar. You're gonna click A or start to actually load it. You're gonna navigate down, 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 and then you're gonna subscribe to the channel because you love my content so much because I show you things that I discover on the interwebs for mobile gaming or even PC gaming on the go. Now that aside, let's navigate to the one that says Trixarian Nether SX2 patch, which is the releases patch for this patch. Navigate down to where it says assets right here, and you're going to only install the Nether SX2 X Delta patch. There is one for an old UI. I like the newer one, it's perfectly fine and i think this patch has done its justice as of this point because it's fixed a lot of issues that a lot of games have had and i highly recommend you to go get this now 3668 is the one that i recommend getting for lower end devices but this one is really great for higher end devices like the odin 2 for example so nether sx2 x delta we're going to download that and yes, it's going to ask me if I want to download it again. Sure, I'm going to download it again because it's probably already downloaded in my downloads folder. You're going to scroll all the way down to where it says resources, and this is going to allow you to download the APK file. So the 4248 APK file, we're going to download it again. I already had it downloaded before, but I'm just going to do this for the sake of the video just to show you how to do this. Now that we've done that, if you install that APK, you're gonna notice that there's gonna be ads and stuff like that on it. So don't worry about that because that's gonna get rid of the actual ads. So Nether SX2 gets rid of the ads. It fixes a lot of graphical issues. It fixes a lot of rendering issues and they're still working on this and hopefully they continue to work on this for quite some time because we don't have a legit Android PS2 emulator at this point. That works great at least. So let's go into UniPatcher. We're going to select the patch file. It's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. So click it. We're gonna to go to our downloads directory, which is right here. You're gonna click the three dots, go sort by, modified newest first, and that's how I like to do it. And you're going to select the Nether SX2 patch. It's probably not gonna have a one there if you've never downloaded it before. That's just because I already have it in here and it's there. So click on that. Now we're gonna to go to the ROM file. Go back to our download directory, which we are already in, but I'm just going to show you the actual navigation. Three dots, modify newest first, and select the 4248 APK. Now the output file. This is all up to you where you want to put this. I'm going to select the three dots, go to my actual directory folder, go to my documents, and I'm going to save that APK file in my documents folder. Just for the sake of this, you can save it to your external SD card. It's all up to you. Click save. Now make sure to click the red save icon on the right hand side. Patching has been completed. Very quick, very simple, very easy. Now we can go ahead, look for that patch file in our documents folder, in our correct documents folder, which is right here, and we can install it. So click continue, click install, click open, and now you have Nether SX2 installed, ready to go, to go game. If you wanna learn how to set up PlayStation 2, for your Odin 2. I have a video link for that as well in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like and share. This is probably the fastest and easiest way to get Nether SX2. And I've tested a bunch of games and they all run perfectly fine, including Jack and Daxter 
getting rid of the black eyes, if you know what I'm talking about. See you next time. I love you all. Bye-bye.